Worthen FC TV, we've Adam Hinchwood following a 1-0 win over Farnborough in the National League South. What are your thoughts after that one, Adam? No, delighted, delighted with the, the three points. Um, probably, arguably, like, my favourite win of the season, probably. Um, a 1-0 win away from home at a place that puts you under a lot of pressure. They're good at what they do. They put the ball in your box and make you defend. And you know, I thought we stood up to that excellently today. And you know, I hear a lot of managers um, say that you can get at Worthing and you can bully them a little bit. And um, you know, I thought we was really resolute today and, and defended brilliantly. And like I say, probably the best three points of the season. Those substitutions at the end really felt like they tightened things up a little bit. It felt like all hands on, that, on deck, similar to Chippenham, similar to Dulwich. It's a team that's really developed this battling spirit as the season's gone on. No, yeah, you need that. This is a really tough league. Um, you know, Saturday you'll get a similar sort of tough test going away from home, a long journey, and you've got to be at it every game. Um, and you've got to show fight and spirit in, in every game because they're really, really tough, tough games. and. Um, like I say, they, they're really good at what they do. Um, they put the ball in the box and make you defend, and they've got good quality. Um, so to come, keep a clean sheet, uh, and like I say, roll up our sleeves and, and defend our box with a bit of aggression was was really pleasing to see. Was that the plan going into today? Was that like the expectation that it was going to be that tough battle? And did the team prepare for that? Yeah, there, with all that said and done, um, I still thought we got the ball into some good areas. Um, obviously, Oli. He's took his goal well. Um, I thought Ibby had a good chance to make it 2 0. Didn't quite take it. And then Ibby and Ollie got into good positions, I thought. And then we just was lacking a little bit in the, with our final ball. Um, and, you know, felt we had to be a little bit better. And that obviously then put a bit of pressure on because we didn't get the second one. Put pressure on our back line and, you know, had to be really resolute and defend well. And, and they did that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's been enough times where our strikers have, have been clinical and took chances and and you know today it wasn't happening but you know to be show that fight and that that, that spirit to, to keep clean sheet was was really really big for us today. There was a lot of battles on that pitch from a lot of players. Who stood out for you today? Was there anyone in particular? Um, I thought like Pax is it's probably didn't get on the ball as much as what he did but he showed a different side to him today holding the field I think he sees himself more as a 10 and absolutely probably do but you know he just has anticipation and he, he broke up and got his foot to so many balls in the middle of the park there um, you know I, I thought the, the back four back three Danny Barker Joe Wright Aaron and, and Liam all need a special mention with Harrison for, for a clean sheet and, and packs in front of it done well um, and then like I say the, the guys I thought David was a real handful today um, you know he was winning his headers and um, you know Miki's second half he's gone through he's beat three players and then just his final decision you know got to work the goalie there and we had some opportunities as well um, that we didn't quite take it wasn't like a smash and grab I don't think um, we knew they were going to put us under pressure um, and, we, and we dealt with it really well but you know look, probably mentioned the whole team there and rightly so because they was all excellent today. And that leaves us three games left, fifth and table, such a better position than we were before the one of these games in hand. How are you feeling now going into this running? Oh we seem to we're on a good run. We're on a good run, four wins out of four. Um, you know in those four games was it we scored fourteen and conceded three or something in the last four and um, you know, not every game we know we're not going to win 7 0, um, and we've got to be prepared to come and keep a clean sheet. And I think those clean sheets in the last three games are going to be crucial to us. It's a, it's a massive week now. We've got four games in the week, four games in eight days. Um, and we've earned that probably. We've earned that because of how well the team's doing. And they are all big games and they all really matter. And, you know, I think full credit to the players, the team, and the travelling supporters today because they've been excellent as well. And, They've earned us to have four big games to finish off the season for how well they've played all season, how professional they've been. Um, and we really want to finish it off well. Um, and like I say, good run of form in the last four games. And it's important now we don't throw that out the window. Uh, we've got to really focus, um, prepare pop properly on Thursday um, and, you know, go to the long journey down to Taunton and, and be ready for it and enjoy it and um, embrace the challenge of the last 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 week. Um, so I'd say there's so much to play for now. 
got ourselves in a great position and we've, we've really got to finish off the job now.